Hello, this is a wild game played on Foxy where Black was winning most of the time but towards the end there was a big blunder happening in the middle top area where Black lost a, a pretty large group and eventually uh, lost the game as well. So let's have a look. Komoku on one side, this is a pretty clean start, very basic uh, Fuseki pattern. Then approach the lower left area, this is good. Coming from the D17 corner, it's good directional play to play c6. Now here, a uh, modern style would be to play the high shimari at d14. Uh, old school, it's more a shimari, a tight one at c15 or d15, but it's also okay to play active at c6. Uh, another two options for black are to invade the sun sun. Either corner is fine, but I like this style, c6. So white played the tight pincer, but normally white defends f3 or ignores completely and attacks the top left corner to try to take initiative and prevent the shimari. <clears throat> As a pincer, uh, for white it's more interesting to play the pincer at c8, and in this case black takes the shimari in the top left corner. The reason is, when black goes in the corner and plays this joseki, white will end up sente and now attack the top left corner and that's good direction to play for white. So all of a sudden, what was supposed to be a moyo for uh, black on the left side becomes a moyo for white. So in this case, black will play the shimari when uh, low pincer. <clears throat> and if white doubles up the corner, then black just plays away. An extension in the top like this or like this. Or attack the lower right side. But in the actual game, uh, white played the tight one uh, space high pincer in which case it's good for black to split so that's the right decision black can also invade the corner right away but sometimes white will just block and go for a big and thick wall on the outside well usually this wall is played when black uh, uh, sorry white has a, a stone in the middle side extension at k4 but he can decide to do that or he can separate the left side which is also a very common Joseki, and now black takes the Shimari. So Sansan is an option, but the fighting spirit is to play a one space jump. Now when white black plays the one space jump, white usually protects the corner F3 or F4, then black can slide, slide again, and then protect against the co-fight like this or like this. The co-fight uh, here, when uh, black plays away, uh, white is not going to start right away, but at some point, white can play Kosumitsuke like this, then Wedge, and double Atari. And now black's connection relies on a co-fight. So if white has a one co threat, for example, this attached threatening to separate, white will take the co, black is in a double Atari, and no matter where uh, black is going to play a co threat next, white will capture again, so the position kind of collapses on the left side for black. So, in order to prevent that call, black just adds another move to stay safe. That's a pretty common Joseki. <clears throat> now, other Josekis here for white are to start with the Kosumitsuke like this, in which case black can play the hanging connection, then either descent and go out like this. So, black escapes to the center, white makes a base on the left side then as a corner but this corner can be a little bit in danger. <clears throat> Another option for black is to go Sun Sun, where uh, white will Hane first, then block the corner, Keima, and extend on the bottom. So these two Josekis are quite popular, or they used to be, uh, with a one space tight pincer, but white just played away. Now this move, it's pretty much in between moves, it's not really attacking the corner, Normally, white can play here or here to put more pressure on the corner, and it's also not really defending the left side. If he wants to make a base on the left, he would just play a, an no game A or a large extension like this. <clears throat> so, playing this move actually allows black a triple approach. So black should immediately play f4. This is a way to punish uh, d4 for not extending f3, f4. Now when this happens, uh, white will, us will usually play uh, an attach and pullback in order to secure the corner 
So this feels good for black because black is thick on the outside and when black approaches O3 now there's a lot of potential on the bottom area. And in the top left corner uh, when white approaches again black can kick and extend. So white will end up over concentrated here having a D13 extension too close to the two stones. So black doesn't really have to make a shimari right away because even without uh, the corner is fine. So in order to punish, you must consider the triple Kakari. Now when black played here, it makes D13, D13 exchange uh, a little bit positive, so white can come back and defend the corner. But white is still uh, worried about his left side, in which case black goes for the corner, but still <clears throat> the hanging uh, the triple approach to punish the corner is better. So Sun Sun, white separates, this uh, makes sense. Then Nobi, Kema is good. Now this Kosumi actually uh, helps black more than white. White should start with the Han in the corner first. And when black blocks, then play the Kosumi B5 or go for the attached E3 right away. <clears throat> On this Kosumi, black should just descend. Black doesn't have to allow B3. Now when white connects under, black hits sente. Uh, G3 is a good move locally, but black can play away. Attack this corner, make another shimari in the top right. Because the two stones on the left side, uh, they are not completely surrounded. And white already crawled on the second line. So even if white will catch those stones, let's say white plays all these moves to capture those guys. In the end, it's a lot of effort because white plays stones under and also above to capture the two stones. So in the meantime, black developed uh, in the other places on the board. So black doesn't even have to worry about uh, keeping these uh, <coughs> uh, two stones safe or alive and uh, white disconnected. Now white play well, he's hanging connection in the corner. And here instead of blocking, black should just go out. It's okay to leave the corner behind because now the plan was to save those stones on the left side. So if white invests lots of uh, stones to capture two uh, pieces in the corner, it's not a big deal. So this block <coughs> uh, shows black's resistance, but it can be more dangerous. White can hunt it first and then play the attach. Anyway, E2 it's a good move. Then cut. This is all forced, attack from the outside and connect. White can connect solid. Playing the hanging connection leaves the peep. That's a very good move. In fact, uh, white can start, sorry, black can start with h3 peep and then f5 to force the b2 bomber. When black plays uh, the other order, so peep on top first and then h3, h3 is not necessarily center because the cut is not going to be Atari. So white can push along, allow black to connect under and then attack the stones on the left side more severe. This is a key point, it's very important to play f7. When black tries to go out, for example, with a Kosumi, white will push and cut one way or the other. If uh, black plays an empty triangle, white simply nobi and surrounds everything. And when black pushes here, white turns and then Kema to catch the group or Kema like this. <clears throat> so again, uh, the group is in danger on the left side. Therefore, white didn't have to connect solid here. That one stone is not so important. So for example, if push several times like this and then black captures one stone white got even stronger so it's much easier to kill the left side so what happens white gives up a stone but takes everything on the left so this would be a better deal for white <clears throat> now black played away but uh, actually those stones on the left side are not safe so normally a kema here to go out or attach and nobi in order to create a cutting point then cover this would be a better shape to make a sabaki and then play on the bottom side uh, in general you want to play big points but urgent moves are bigger than big moves because the left side is uh, so much in danger black has to do something to fix the group <clears throat> otherwise why try to uh, create that group in the first place so o3 was big but white can counter attack for example, pincer like this. Now, if black lives in the corner, which is Gote, white can start the counter attack on the left side. Or just leave it and start attacking the left side. This was a good move. But the key point is still, 
this kind of uh, shape to try to surround <clears throat> and destroy the eye formation too. So white is actually taking away the base, but black can play Kosumitsuke. Uh, sorry, an attach, just a tsuke, then the wedge, then Atari, and then go out. So this is a good way to make a sabaki. So black play the contact move. White pulls back. I can also get ahead, but I guess he was afraid of a wedge and then cut with Ko. So now it's time to fight the Ko. That's why white connected solid. Then black Hane, that makes sense. So if black plays this move right away and white connects d8, black is not going to go back at uh, e, uh, sorry, d7, but get ahead instead. That's why when uh, black plays the attach, uh, white has to Hane and now the wedge to create a cut uh, in Ko, Atari connect, and now the Ko is still available here as a backup, but right now go out or jump. This is a better way to make Sabaki. <clears throat> so black it's out and reach in I shape. Mm, this is not necessary. White should either Hane or play a peep, and then keep the chase going on the left side. So with this move, uh, white is just reinforcing the bottom group, Black and Atari first, and then connect, and now white has to, to play some pincer. <clears throat> okay, black defends, white pincers, that's good, but white can hunt in the corner, this is center too. This gives white at least half an eye in that area, black has to go down. If black plays here, white has the Atari, then capture the Ko, and kill everything. It's too early to fight the Ko, so white will just feel. So when white plays a2, black goes down, then if white wants to stay safe, this is a backup connection. But k3 is good, kind of puts pressure on h3 and it's a pincer against o3. So black double approaches, that's also good. Mm, this double up is strange. Either attach here or attach like this. Or simply come out and then block and jump and go for a big bottom side. This double up, it's a bit heavy. <clears throat> so black surrounds, very good. Now white pushes and cuts. So there's a new battlefield coming up. Uh, normally white can think about this attach, cut came at the waist. Then if black pushes, white cuts. When black comes out, the fight will go like this. And white should stay, uh, stay safe in the corner first. But there's a lot of agi on the outside. When black captures a stone, then play here. If black tries to, to run out with this guy, then white can save the other stone <clears throat> and go for the right side. So the fight is quite promising for white like that. This way may be dangerous. Kema is good. Normally here black should go up because white has to protect and black extends, white needs to leave, black goes out. If white surrounds, maybe there's a problem because this is an L group in the corner. Black will expand his I shape, then connect and the group will die faster in the corner. So let's not forget the L formation. <clears throat> Going back here uh, creates some magic at S2, but I can try to surround and kill all. So this would be a semi. Throw in, throw in again, go down, Atari, then Kosumi to create some liberties. Block here. Oh, this might end up a Seki. <coughs> ah, no. I misread. Black can kill this. Which is good. So yeah, P2, it's, it's playable too. But in general, go up. Sometimes P2, sometimes Q3. Anyway, why did not want to fight the semi, so he goes for life. Which is proper. Then black comes out. This jump is very good. <clears throat> Playing uh, M3 will allow white surround the group. So jump like this because if white pushes here, black can go down and then block. In fact, even if black blocks here, this works because on the cut, black can push a couple of times in center, then capture the stone. So white has to come out <clears throat> and black goes out too. Now black can play the attach and then on this move, connect solid. Because again, when white pushes, black goes down first. And if white pushes like this, black connects and takes away liberty, and already the group is out. 
So white plays here, black defends. If white defends the bottom, black can jump out. Anyway, black played the Kosumi to go out, which is also good. Uh, white can play the attach, and then this is a center exchange. Go for the right side to reinforce a little bit, and then jump in the middle. So black is kind of forced to run on neutral points to connect to the left side. <clears throat> so this move is threatening the cut, but black connects with the bamboo and white takes gote. Now instead of running on the right, it's more important to save the L5 group, so simply jump out here. Now when black, uh, white jumps, black also has time to defend the right side. If white plays something like a Kosumi here, black will get ahead with uh, the horse neck shape instead of this one which is at the same line with 08 so go a little bit further but already playing L7 the group is out in the middle <clears throat> so black defense uh, the group that's not so much in danger yet this can happen too so now white plays a double up but that's not necessary white can play a Kosumitsuke and then Keima like this or even Ogeima to put a lot of pressure on the bottom then peep one time, then surround the groups. This is slightly dangerous, though. <clears throat> so peep and black jumps. Yeah, that's good timing. This push doesn't do much. And it was important for black to play L7. <clears throat> uh, this seems a bit dangerous. Black should just push again, then one spade jump. It's okay to discard one stone in the middle in order to keep the right side safe, then secure the bottom group again. Or play a big point now. So a lot of fighting spirit here, but very dangerous. If white turns, black has to go down. White can attach one time to exit and have some liberties and then cover again. Now the group on the right side has only one eye. And it's difficult to escape because the outside groups for white are quite safe. <clears throat> so this attach happened. Black has to get ahead. White turned. Black goes down. White goes down. And this is very dangerous for black. But somehow, white collapsed. Um, white can play a one space jump here. Then push again. And now try to win the semi. Which means uh, white can play this move, then descend. Let's see, how can black take away the liberties like this? Atari connect, go down, defend, push, block. There are three more liberties. White can even play away. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. So. White wins the semi faster. But white jump like this, and that's a bit dangerous. Black pushes and cuts. Very good combination in order to sacrifice a stone and separate. So this was the first fight where uh, white could kill a bunch of stones and establish superiority in the game. But actually, he messed up and lost some stones. So, kill or be killed. And now the group in the middle is in trouble too. So the position looks promising for black right now. Uh, black can try Keima. If white pushes like this and cuts, black has Atari, then Keima like this, threatening the bottom stones. So when white captures a stone here, there's a big problem with the entire bottom group. And if white connects under, just cover and catch the stones in the center. Uh, another way is to push and then Hane and push again and now it's all connected and safe play this Kema one more time in Sente and build some points in the middle so Kosumi white comes out black secures the bottom but this Kosumi or Kema from L5 seems to be more active white needs to protect and then continue jumping in the center to put pressure on uh, white's group so this way, uh, black simply connects. Now here, black should play with some fighting spirit. Cover first. If white cuts, black captures. If white goes out, 
white is heavy and when black connects white is still in trouble so white needs to go out honey and on this move cut and everything is in in danger for white <coughs> block would be good then when white cuts black can play from behind like this allow the connection and connect again so this is a very strong position if white pushes black will squeeze and then protect with the hanging connection so hanging white connects there's not much to do on the left side this is an overplay white can cut and if black connects white takes so the cut doesn't have any meaning for black on the left uh white played wrong why should play atari here when black connects white captures everything it's easy to read that out <clears throat> now yeah black has to run in the center so the center groups they became quite vulnerable yeah, that's a problem puck 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 some cutting points here it's okay for black to push to the left create some cuts and then push again white will never play atari here it's self atari so black captures <clears throat> here white was supposed to cover this way in order to uh, go for atari next so black will push and push again to create cutting points then connect and now white has to come back there are still some cuts but black should keep the middle group safe playing like this black can come out for white it's very nice to get this atari at q12 so when black plays away white will immediately atari in center therefore black should go out not to allow the atari in center when hane turn so like this there's a target on the right side and the group in the middle is still weak so when white tries to to fight in the middle black jumps out and white is in danger too also on the right side <clears throat> if uh, white protects the center black has this peep and surround the group so uh it's eyeless now shimari is too soft white will immediately atari or he should have this is big so instead of shimari turn don't allow the atari or protect the center now the game can be very dangerous uh, it's proper to connect solid playing here this feels like a misclick white can push and cut up or down <clears throat> but he didn't okay this atari was big now cut uh difficult to leave down there this was another chance for white to to win the game White can go down, then black Atari, go out, push, go out again, Atari, connect, Hane, Atari, Atari, and escape. Now the problem is that black can die on the left side too, but the bottom seems pretty dead. So let's see how black magically escape here. <clears throat> this kind of gives one eye around K6, so the left side looks very bad. Okay uh-huh that was a waste why should just play here if black goes like this white connects when black cuts white comes out so the group on the left side will die too but the bottom has only one eye so it doesn't matter if black plays here and all these moves because it's difficult to kill this bottom group as long as white can catch the the left side so this move was not necessary white missed a big chance now white was supposed to descend. If white descends, black goes down, white connects under, it's only one eye. When white plays this move, black found a way to go out. So push, then cut. And even if white tries the core, black can just extend. But it's good to take the core first. <clears throat> then white will play some core threat, like Atari here, take back, now extend. When connect under, take back the core. White again will need some threat, take the core, and now connect. So white already wasted two cotrets and later in the game he's not going to uh, win a core fight too easy. So on this move, again, capture the core. Only after the cotret is played and there are no cotrets, it's okay to connect. So here, um, black escape on the bottom, quite luckily, but now the left side seems dead. It's hard to escape next, I mean, 
why can play a, a one spade jump like this yeah and the group is surrounded and killed in a net so black should forget about the left side and just play big points in the top so right now white has uh, the territory here some wall on the side small life in the corner and if black builds a lot in the top uh, with a group on the side and a group on the bottom black is still okay so losing the left side was not so uh, detrimental yeah gotta take the big point <clears throat> this jump is just end game with all the thickness in the middle why should invade the top like this or like this or anywhere just a one space jump uh black can ignore so black can defend again to reinforce the top side if white goes in the corner black will push turn then defend again so all those invasion points disappear but black blocked by reflex now white comes inside now here after the attach it's normal to play a cross cut but black doesn't even have to attach actually <clears throat> black can play here white goes kosumitsuke to keep black separated black goes down white will ane and connect his stones then black should reinforce the other side against an invasion so here white connects this is good white separates uh that's just end game so it's better to play n16 to keep the top side connected on this move actually white has to answer mm, this peep okay center yeah n16 very important otherwise if uh, black plays moves like this white can jump in the top for example here or like this and now the two stones are vulnerable with all that thickness in the middle it's easy for white uh, to fight so very good to defend the top now i try the desperate uh, reduction and so far so good like it's all safe and connected it's also worse to play this move because when uh, hane cut and now white has to come back and protect against the cuts but this is nice hane jump again in the center so right now black is still okay all white got was the left side why should hane here anytime in center also hane on the first line uh monkey jump it's playable too then destroy some more points in the corner then some moves in the middle <clears throat> but the game is just close and probably black still ahead so cutting points here um black can use this cut white answers atari go out and capture a stone this is big too because it creates a double atari here that's fine so far so good so it's quite incredible to see the top died later on here black doesn't even need atari just Kosumi to destroy more points because on this atari white can actually block and when uh, black takes the call white connects black pushes white blocks taking the call is not such a big deal like that black can jump and destroy more points so this is all fine atari to prevent the center call very big if uh, black captured these guys it's like over 10 points now here black can actually go down when white tries to cut it's a self atari and when white plays here black captures no more Aji. but it's the same thing if white plays here black connects if uh, white plays here black goes down connect very good nice uh black can also capture but connecting solid leaves less cotrets so take those guys this is big correct now one should always pay attention to the shortage of liberties so black can discard the three stones and just play here if white capture three stones that's only six points in gote but black already got some points in the middle now connecting the three stones it's okay because if white cuts like this black will push 
then capture the stone. But when black plays Atari here, let's see, Atari, Atari, ah, it's still okay. Atari, connect, Atari, take the three stones. So far, so good. So on this Atari, black can still connect. And on the cut, tuck, 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 tuck. Yeah, black should just Atari here. White pushes, black takes, Atari. And of course, black can take the core, but white will play a core threat and take it back. Then black connects. Now there are two liberties. And when black plays Atari, white take, uh, sorry, white plays Atari, black takes the three stones, and it's all safe. So this was the losing move. To just capture the stone without even sacrificing anything. And now it's a self Atari. Black had the blind spot here. And after capturing all those guys and the middle, of course, white wins by a pretty large margin. So black would just resign. <clears throat> Incredible what happened at the end there. Enjoy the review and pay more attention when the uh, board gets more crowded and especially to these kind of liberties. So good luck next games.